Everybody, Sam Strains here. Welcome back to the railway and welcome back to another live stream. Uh, it seems like it's been ages since I last did one of these. I guess really it's not all that long, but uh, it's great to be back anyway, and it's great to see so many of you guys over here in the chat already. So thank you all for coming. Hope you're all going to enjoy it today. Hopefully it's going to be a really exciting stream. I've only just gotten back from the train fair yesterday. I think last time I did some train fair stuff in a stream. Um, it was ages since I'd been to the train fair, but it was literally just yesterday. Now, yeah, it's happened again. I was not intending to bring back so much stuff from the the train fair this time but there are just bags and bags and bags of it this time uh, so I feel a bit guilty for spending so much money uh, it was probably a little bit shameful to be honest but it will make for a good stream so that is the uh, the positive side Anyway, all of that is coming along in just a second, but first of all, I thought I would uh, check in with everybody, see how everybody's doing. In fact, I've already had some super chats, so I've got to start by thanking those. Uh, so if you want uh, shout outs, let me know in the chat right now and I'll take a look and uh, give those out. Uh, now, special shout out to George Davis because he dropped me a super chat uh, on the 9th, so that's yesterday before the stream even started. So thank you, George. And then Michael Willis has just sent one. He says, hi Sam, staying up late here in Australia to watch the live stream. Now I make this about two o'clock in the morning in Australia, so that, that's some dedication, thank you for doing that. Uh, can you please run the 73, uh, the 73 class Pullman with the Pullman coaches? Very nice idea, I, I will get around to that Michael and thank you very much for your super chat there. Now speaking of the super chats, uh, I've got a really exciting announcement to make today. Um, I will talk about that now and then I'll get on to your shout out. Sorry about that, I'm a little bit muddled. So I am going to be starting to do a giveaway. Uh, it's a giveaway that's going to last all the way up till August, so you've got until then to get entered. Now here is the engine I'm giving away. It's not just rolling stock this time, it is an engine, it's a Ginty, but it's not just a Ginty, it's the beautiful S and DJR Ginty. Now it isn't just a beautiful S and DJR Ginty, it's actually going to be a DCC fitted S and DJR Ginty, and I'm going to be giving it away to one of my lucky viewers. Now obviously Obviously, I know that some people don't run DCC, so if that's you, don't worry, you can still enter. If you don't want it DCC fitted, I can take the chip out for you, um, but obviously it's worth quite a bit more DCC fitted, so you might as well. It's up to you. Uh, so anyway, all you have to do to enter is drop me a super chat. I know it's happened already from a couple of people. All you have to do is drop me a super chat of any amount. Uh, the super chat is the little dollar sign in the chat. Basically, when you do that, you'll be supporting my channel first and foremost. So thank you very much for that. And my little way of saying thank you is, of course, to give away this beautiful Ginty at the uh, sort of mid-August. That's when it will be. Now, the beauty of it is you don't just get one entry. I'm going to let you enter um, once per stream. And there's going to be about four streams streams between now and when I actually give it away. So that means you could get potentially four or five entries into this competition. Now, even if all 25,000 of my subscribers did decide to enter, you would still have a massively high chance of winning compared with the lottery or something like that. You'd be a hundred times more likely to win. But obviously, I'd never get nearly that many people enter. So especially if you get in sort of four times, you've got a real chance of winning that. So anyway, that's my little thank you to people who support me. If you want to enter, just drop me a super chat. And of course, I will still be doing the requests in the super chat. So if you want to, if you really want to support the channel, first of all, thank you. And you want to spend uh, five pounds or five dollars or more then make sure you include a request uh, you can choose any loco I've got in the collection it's completely up to you and I will run it during a stream uh, as another way to say thank you so thank you all for that uh, hopefully you'll all uh, get entered with the competition and good luck to everyone who does uh, now I've just seen that Charles Curtis has just sent one in uh, thank you so much Charles uh, that's quite a big donation there so you're entered into the competition and so is everybody else who's uh, donated today Charles if you've got a request please get in touch with me somehow and I will definitely do that for you at some point. So Lakota Theorof is saying Sam's give us a shout out. There you go. Uh, model train fan, uh, thank you very much for the super chat. You are entered to win your Ginty. Uh, hopefully you will uh, do well in the competition. Uh, sorry I was a bit late, says Adam Rushton. Toads on Ice has just sent in a super chat. Thank you, you're entered with the Ginty. Hopefully you'll win it. Uh, hello Sam, uh, shout out for Oliver and Imogen. Absolutely Rob, uh, Oliver and Imogen are Rob's. Uh, I'll 
kids or grandchildren, not too sure. I'm not calling you a granddad or anything like that. Uh, but nonetheless, they uh, watch the streams quite often, so hello to those. Ugly Duckman, uh, he says, glad to be back. Can you please run a 7F piloted by uh, a 2P pulling some green Mark 1s? Oh, that sounds good. Thank you for the donation, Ugly Duckman. I will get you entered into the competition. Shining Time 4 has just sent a super chat as well. Blimey, they're coming in today. He says, could you run a Hornby Merchant Navy with Pullman coaches? I do like that idea. Uh, that is my kind of request. I will do that for sure. Uh, thank you very much for that shining time for, and also, of course, you're entered in with a chance to win the Jinty. Uh, no Cool says shout out, so there you go. Jolly Joke 09 uh, says shout out. Mark Horner's jobless, except he has got a job today. He's my, uh, he's my Mark mod today. Uh, Ethan Schultz, I think it's pronounced, says hi, Sam. Uh, Bradster please 21 says bye so it looks like he's not sticking around but thank you for coming anyway I do appreciate that Daniel Cutting says shout out please Daniel's been leaving some nice comments on my channel so thank you Daniel the ed 32 says keep it up Sam love your content thank you very much for the super chat that's very kind of you if you've got a request you'd like me to run let me know uh, but in the meantime you're entered to win the Jinty so good luck hopefully you do well uh, Christian Kreigel says shout out please uh, do you have a Backman James says Gabe Galaxy oh no I can't reveal that there's a big project coming up with a James but I'm not gonna say any more about that I refuse to but it's coming soon uh, uh, Amy Lanning says shout out please and Jenta Mohammed says say suka video and a Sam hopefully I haven't said something rude there I'm not absolutely sure what that means people trick me into saying things sometimes and I embarrass myself uh, Adam Goratlax Blacks, sorry, can't pronounce that at all. I shouldn't have tried. He says, Can you do a review on the TGV duplex? That sounds like an interesting one. Thank you for that idea. I will definitely look into that. Uh, Rob Humphrey sent in a very, very generous donation there. Thank you very much, Rob. Uh, I don't think you left a request on there, but if there's anything you'd like me to run, please get in touch and let me know. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for your generosity. And to everyone who's donated already, it's a bit mind blowing, actually. Uh, just know that you really are doing your bit to keep this channel going and I really do appreciate it. With donations like that I can keep these keep these videos coming, I can keep affording to live uh, on YouTube and for that I really do appreciate it. Okay, so I've had a catch up. I will talk to you guys again in the chat later on because I love interacting. But now then, let's get on with uh, some train fare unpacking. And as I've already mentioned, uh, but I'll mention it again just in case anybody uh, just joined. <laughs> I'm not too sure how this happened. Uh, I took some money, as I always do, and normally I come back with, what, one or two bags these days. In the early days, I'd buy quite a lot. But uh, these days, you know, I go to this particular train fare every couple of months, so there's not normally too much change you know there's not all that much new stock but for some reason this time there was so many sellers there so many new things that I'd never seen before I ended up going very slightly overboard and uh, yeah we're gonna have to get started on this lot I reckon so I'm gonna choose a bag at random I think we'll choose this bag in front of me in fact should I no there's a story that goes with that one so I'll choose this pink one here how about that a pink bag Right, I need a space on these trays. The idea is if I get some of this stuff running, I'm going to put it on the trays and then I can carry it down to the front. So this is the first bag. Let me figure out what's inside. Oh, it looks like rolling stock. Right, so this lot, I'm just trying to remember where I got this, was from a £3 tray. So everything in here you see I bought for £3. So here's the first one. Uh, this is a Southern Wagon. It's very similar to the Ocean Wagons, but it's not, of course. That one was priced up at 3.75, so I got uh, 75p off there. So that's quite pleasing. I'm going to have to go through these quick. Uh, so there's a Prime Pork van. Again, for £3 it's all right. It's in mint condition. I've already cleaned it up. Uh, metal wheels as well, so that was a good buy, I think. For three quid, that is very much acceptable. Uh, here's one that I don't think I've got before. This is one of the Hornby larger wagons. Uh, do I dare pronounce this? Berthwald. Sounds Welsh, number 135. I apologise to any Welsh people watching. I'm sure you can speak Welsh a lot better than I can. But again, uh, that one does have plastic wheels, but it has got uh, metal axles, so at least it's got that going for it. Uh, a couple more things in here. Oh, I like these. I've got, I think, two of these already, so this will make three. This is the Triang Insulfish Fish Van. Don't you think that's just a nice colour? It's like a, is it a baby blue? I'm not too sure. It's lovely, though. So for three quid, I picked that up, even though it hasn't got uh, uh, metal wheels. I just thought, you know, I would like that. And I do like these Triang Wagons. So there we go. That's bag one out of the way. Not too much in that one. Uh, let's take a look what was in this bag then, maybe. There are two bags that I sort of bought together, so I want to save those until then. Yeah, this is yeah, this is that other one. So, in fact, what has gone on here then? 
Let's see what's in the grey bag. Ah, there seems to be three bags. Oh no, we can go with the blue bag. That isn't the one I thought it was. Right, getting into a mess already. Right, so let me see if I can remember the story with this bag. Uh, so this was, I think, let's see here. This bag, I think, was three for £10. So it's about three quid a pop again, isn't it? So first of all, we have another Kellogg's van. As you know, I do kind of collect these. I've got quite a lot of them. So I'm trying to build up a stupidly big rake of those. So I'm going to get that uh, sorted. And uh, that one's not been cleaned up yet, but it should be relatively easy to do. What do you think so far? Everybody like it? Uh, Sam's Bussers, he, he needs a shout out. He's been asking for one. He says, I speak lots of Welsh, Sam. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, okay, so this one, again, these tankers seem to get quite dirty and it's quite hard to clean them because the detailing is uh, quite fragile. So I might have to take this one apart to clean it. But yeah, that's an SO um, tanker. That's what it is. Uh, plastic wheels again, so not fantastic value, but the three quid or thereabouts. You can't really fault it. Uh, I've just seen a super chat from Lionel MPC. He says, I would like to see the Wren West Country run Lime Regis if you have that one. Yes, absolutely. I do have quite a few requests in today, uh, but I'll do my best to get through them all. If not this episode, then next time. But yes, thank you very much for your support. I do appreciate that, and I will get around to that request. Okay, so here is a wagon that you might recognise. I've got quite a few of these. It says it's a ventilator van it has got metal wheels but i noticed that the coupling hooks are missing on it i don't know if you can yeah you can make that out uh, so unfortunately i'm gonna have to try and find some coupling hooks but these have a great feature on them look at this there we go the door opens this door seems a little bit oh no it's opened so the doors open on both sides so you can see through it uh, but that's pretty cool i like that oh the roof's coming off here <laughs> let's put that back on Put that now quickly before I break it. Uh, but yeah, they're quite cool, and I've got perhaps three of those or something like that, so that'll go to get them nicely. Uh, this is another one of those Puch & Co wagons. I've got quite a few of these as well. Again, similar to the Ocean wagons, but uh, slightly smaller, of course. Uh, metal wheels, all coupling hooks intact, so that was a good buy, I think, for £3.30, or whatever it was, 3 for £10. Uh, then this, again, you'll recognise this. This is another one of those Southern Railway livestock vans. Uh, it's what, obviously, animals travel in and things. Again, really nice metal wheels, as you can see there. Uh, it's the older style metal wheels, but hey, metal's metal, that's okay. And it's got all its coupling hooks again. Uh, the roof seems to be a little bit off on this one. Let me put this back on. Uh, the thing is, I think I did clean this one up. The roof was really, really dirty on it, uh, but the wagon was fine. So instead of wetting the whole wagon, uh, I thought I would just take the roof off and clean that on its own. But clearly I didn't put it back on properly and it's proving to be a bit of a nuisance to get it back on. Let's give it a little click. There we go. There we go. There we go. Fixed it. There we go. So that's another one of those livestock wagons. And then the last one is an yet another of these prime pork uh, wagons or vans. Got quite a few of these, so I'm uh, building up a rake of those. I do like them. And I'm not a big fan of pork in real life, but it's a particularly nice looking wagon. So there we have that. Okay, that's that bag finished. Let's catch up, see how everyone's doing. Uh, the Gentleman Nerd says, please run any red locomotive. Ooh, that's giving me a bit of freedom there. I don't know if that's a good idea. Thank you very much for the donation. I do appreciate that. You're entered to win the Ginty, uh, as is everybody who uh, sends a super chat. So good luck to you, and I will run a red locomotive. Thanks a lot for the support. Right, let's take a break and see what people think. Uh, could you run a Class 4F pulling with an Oscar wagon? Maybe that's the ocean wagon you mean, maybe. Uh, the Imperial Diamond Spinosaurus says, Later can you show my snups? Uh, my name is ACC name. Okay, thank you very much for the donation, the Imperial Diamond Spinosaurus. I've had to say that, night and that name again. I do appreciate it, and good luck winning the Ginty. Hopefully you will uh, get within a chance. Well, you've got a chance to win it. Hopefully you will win it. Uh, that's what I meant to say. All right, shall we look at a loco then? I think it's time I showed a loco, because uh, it's all been rolling stock recently. Ooh, be careful. <laughs> right, now, this one's shameful because I've got a couple of these Locos already, so I haven't really got a good reason for buying a new one other than the fact that I just absolutely love them. So here it is. Yes, I know. I've reviewed a Q1 before. Probably people will tell me off if I review another one, so maybe this one will wait a few months or whatever before it gets reviewed, maybe even a year or two. But this is a Q1, of course, in BR Black. It's number, if you're interested, it's number 33037. I do have one in BR Black already. It isn't that number, incidentally, but the one I have already in BR Black uh, is weathered. So this one's pristine. As you can see here, the price tag was £55, but I also bought some wagons with it. I think that second lot, that yeah, that lot of wagons I've just shown you, I think I got with this. 
And so in the end, I got five pounds off this. This only cost me uh, 50 quid, I think. And then the wagons came to something like 20. So 50 quid for a, a Q1, it says here, hardly used, sealed detailing, small mark on the tender. And there is, it's a little sort of glue mark. It looks like a super glue mark on the tender. Uh, I had a look at it. The guy let me look. He uh, slid the box open and I looked and it wasn't all that bad. So I thought for 50 quid, I'll have that because I love Q1s. And I told him I can't resist Q1s. Uh, so I didn't, I got that. Right, then there was another seller who was selling uh, some toads. He was selling Great Western toads and uh, these BR toads um, in a, a later sort of dark red livery. He was selling them for five pounds each and they were brand new. He says they were brand new. Uh, I'm assuming they were. Uh, this one, now people were asking me, people have seen this in the thumbnail and they're asking me the name. So this one is Birkenhead. There we go. Not in common use, it says. So I don't know, were people wondering whether it's rare? Let me know if you know about these. Is Birkenhead a rare one? Shall I do an unboxing? Let's get this out. By the way, the price on it is eight pounds and I only paid five. So actually, that's a big thumbs up, isn't it? That's not bad. Patrick says, sorry I'm late. That's all right. Look, this isn't school. You can turn up here whenever you like. I don't mind. I just, I'm just grateful that you turned up at all, to be honest. So thank you, Patrick, for turning up. Your reviews are really cool, says Retro Gamer Marco. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. It's Toad, said Gridded Designer. Yeah, it's Toad. Doesn't look like him, though, does it? The livery's very different. I will do an unboxing of this, shall I? A mini unboxing right here, right now. The Q1 is my favourite British locomotive, says Sean Meredith. That's good to hear. It's probably one of mine. It's definitely in the top ten. Shout out, please, says Bogey Fabiani. There you go. Sorry if I said your name wrong. I seem to be saying 75% of these names wrong. Uh, hey Sam, says President Grant in all capitals, can you please do a review of the double tender Flying Scotsman and can I have a shout out? Well there's your shout out straight away. Unfortunately I don't have the double tender Flying Scotsman but I would love one so if I see one for a good price, it has to be for a good price, then I might pick one up. So thank you for the idea. Do you have merch, says Zeko. Alright, so I have these Sam's Trains t-shirts, I've got two, it's a white one and a grey one. And just after Christmas I looked into getting them you know, available to sell, but to be honest it was going to cost 25 quid in order for it to actually work for me to make a decent profit and you know for you guys to get them now i'm always on about in my reviews rip-offs right i'm always saying how this model railway stuff is far too expensive i couldn't live with myself if i started selling t-shirts for 25 pounds each uh, that would just go against surely that would go against everything i complain about in the reviews so rather than rip you guys off i decided i wouldn't do it you know um i'm not here to take your money really i'm here to try and entertain you and if you want to donate you can but i don't want to be taking 25 quid for a t-shirt uh, so that's the reason i'm not doing it if i find a way to do them more cheaply one day so that i can give you guys a good detail uh, a good deal a good detail i don't know why i started saying detail if i can do it for a good deal deal one day for a good price then yes i might do shirts but at the moment i'm not doing merch i might look into doing mugs or something like that anyway let's get this toad out i've not had it out yet uh he said it was new so let's find out whether it is or not i haven't got my rolling stock box opening tool so i'm gonna have to do it with my hands but here we go so yeah, it was marked up at £8, but he was selling them for 5 which I thought was really quite good. And I'm having trouble getting this out. Let's open it at the other end as well and push it through. Sorry about this. I would play some elevator music at this point to say sorry for the wait, but I haven't got any elevator music. All right, it's coming, it's coming. Well, it's still got the tissue paper around it, so that's a good sign. I don't know why. Oh, it's, it's loose. It's falling out. Let's not have that. Right, let's see. Ooh, it's nice. I do like it in this livery. So there you have it, a toad. I can't show you a close-up, unfortunately, but it is very nice, and I'm convinced it's new. What do you reckon? That, that's got to be new, hasn't it? Uh, it's got brand new looking uh, metal wheels. I can't see any marks on there. Can you see any dirt? I can't see any dirt. So maybe it is absolutely brand new as described, and if so, five quid is a good price. All the coupling hooks are intact. So yes, I'm happy with that. Uh, Birkenhead, there it is. Oh, I'm pleased with that. That was quite a bargain. I really am pleased with that. Uh, over 200 people watching, says Mayo. Yeah, uh, well, hello, everybody. Uh, last time I looked, there was about 150, so to the 50 of you just joined, hello, welcome, hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Uh, looking forward to what the future holds for your channel, says True Blue. Thank you, True Blue. I can't remember seeing you before, so welcome. And if I just didn't notice you before, sorry about that. Uh, shout out, please. I want to be a mod. I'm always here. Read me, says Mangle. Thank you very much. We'll see what Mark Mod says. If, if Mark Mod needs some help, uh, then uh, we can definitely appoint some more mods in these. That would be fun. Uh, 
Max's model railway says, okay, why does it say 23 waiting? I'm not too sure. Waiting for what? That's the question. Uh, maybe you didn't refresh it after the stream started. I don't know. Right. Okay, let's get on to the next box then. Next box, next bag. Let's do some more locos. All right. So here's the next one I got. Uh, this was after I went to the car to drop off what I already bought because I couldn't carry any more. Yes, it was that bad. Uh, so it's this. It's a Class 73. Now, I reckon I've got a 73 already. In fact, someone's made a request for it. Uh, but that one's in the Pullman livery. Uh, this one is... What is it now? I know what it looks like, but I don't know how to describe it. It's like... Um, green I would say it's not actually in the box it's over there uh, it's green with a shall I just show you I feel a bit like a a crazy person trying to describe it when I could just show you if I can reach it I will grab it for you see I was a bit sneaky because there's a picture of it on the front of the box so I thought well I'll just pretend it's in there but I don't do nonsense here it is so 40 quid, uh, I think the current RRP is about 70 or 60, something like that. Uh, mm, it's lovely, uh, really quite good detail actually. It clearly is just the Lima version that's got the Hornby mechanism now, but it's not bad, is it? And for 40 quid, uh, I didn't even try to barter there because I thought it was nice. So I'll have to review this at some point. Mine is actually considered the Hornby Railways version, but as far as I know, it's just the same as the Railroad Edition. And for the for a railroad diesel, it's pretty good. It's got quite a bit of detail on it, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, a Class 73, really quite like that. I might even try to put the Pullman body on this uh, just because I think that would be fun. But uh, yeah, there we go, Class 73, and it was boxed. And now for my favourite. Uh, I think this is the pick of the litter for me. So I'm um, grab the bag and get it out now once again this is a loco that i didn't already have but it is one uh, sorry this is a loco that i did already have but it's in a livery that i haven't got already so it's the c-class and my c-class is in br black at the moment uh, but this brand new one is in southern green it's number 593 and you're not going to be able to see this until i review it but it has got sort of green lining along the boiler and it's absolutely fantastic it really is fantastic uh, i can't wait to get this out and review it uh, i have had it out and it works and everything it's uh, not brand new but it's very lightly used and i've had it to pieces to service it and it looks to be in great condition so um yeah i tried not to get too excited in front of the guy that was selling it in case he thought there was something wrong with me but i was pretty excited now the price on this was 92.50 right and i managed to get it for 80 so you might think my goodness me that's quite a bit off and i'll tell you how i did it in just a second first of all cooper green has just sent a super chat uh, thank you very much cooper you're in for a chance to win the ginty uh, i realize i've been talking for a while and i might have missed some super chats so if that's true if you've sent me one and i've missed it uh, do uh, not worry because uh, i'm going to go through them later on and thank everybody rob humphrey says can i uh, please can child number three have a shout out that's pippa uh, one uh, yo tuesday uh, not too sure what that means but there you go uh, shout out to pippa uh, sorry that i didn't mention you before uh, but i am doing now okay so that was the c class how did i get it for so cheap well where i'm going to put this the guy on his stand had a tray of wagons right he had a whole tray of wagons and the prices on them were pretty good we're talking uh sort of three four pounds each i thought you know the this guy seems to know what he's doing he, he seems to know how to price things properly so i said how much for this whole tray of rolling stock? Now, bear in mind, some of it was some crusty old rolling stock, right? Which I, I knew I wasn't really interested in. But I thought I'd see what he says. And he said 50 quid. And there was about 25 wagons in there. So you do the maths. That's two pounds each. So that's a pound off a wagon. That's pretty good. And then I said, well, what about if I take the C-Class as well? Because you see, this, it was the C-Class that I was wanting. And he said 130 pounds, which means I got the C-Class in the end for, uh, <laughs> for 80 pounds. So I did the whole charade. Mm, okay, I'll think about it. All of that nonsense and uh, very quickly perhaps more quickly than I should have done I said yeah okay then I'll take it so following up with that is the 24 wagons that I bought now the majority of them are usable uh, the minority of them I have no clue what I'm gonna do with I would give them away but ain't nobody's gonna want them so here we go there's a lot there's as I say there's 25 uh, so this one was quite exciting it was labeled new which doesn't make sense because it's dirty uh, but this is a, a Thomas and Friends wagon it's the Tidmouth milk wagon it's just like the Esso tanker in fact it's the same model with the same color lettering it just says a different thing on it but uh, yeah it's quite nice uh, the wheels and things are quite good it was labeled at three pounds so that's a pound off uh, most of this stuff was labeled but uh, 
some of them have dropped off. I can't do anything about that, so never mind. Uh, and then there's this. I don't think I got this one before. It's a mainline wagon. It says TCD on the side, uh, number 171. It's quite a big thing. I've got a couple of these already, but not in this livery. Uh, it's labelled at £4, so I got this for half price. That's pretty good. Plastic wheels, as is quite usual with mainline, because, of course, they were toys and you weren't allowed to have uh, metal bits on them. So that's that. And uh, then... Here's a bit of a crusty one. I've got loads of these already. A Triang brake van with bent couplings. I might steal the couplings off it or something because I've got loads of these. Uh, it does have the later wheels, I suppose, so I could put some metal ones in there. And it was labelled up at £2, so I paid just exactly what he wanted on that. But uh, I might just put that into the spares box, actually. That's not a bad idea. If I put it into the spares box, then if I ever need a spare coupling or a roof or something like that, I can just steal it. Uh, Cooper Green, can you run a train of brake vans pulled by a pair of 040s? Forgot to post this before. Thank you, Cooper, for the super chat. I really appreciate the support. Yes, I will do that for you. Loads of requests to get through today, so I'm going to have to hurry this up, uh, but I will try and get through everybody. So, yes, thank you for that. Uh, next up, we've got a bread van, uh, Mighty White. This one is labelled at £3, so I got a pound off it. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, it has only got plastic wheels. One of the coupling hooks is missing, and the other one's present, so it's not too bad. But apart from that, it's in pretty good, clean condition, as you can see there, so that's all right. Uh, another one of a, another fish van it says fine fish on it I think I've got one of these already so I think that'll look quite nice uh, yeah it's got like a, a fish and chip shop fish on the side there so I quite like that this one's nice it's got uh, metal wheels it's got all its couplings and it was labeled for 250 so I think 250 was cheap in the first place to be honest don't you think uh, with the, the metal wheels but uh, now I got it for two quid in the end so that's all right uh, this one's another crusty one it's one of the triangle style Lomax it has got the big fat wheels on it so I won't be able to do a lot uh, with it but again it was labeled two pounds so i didn't really uh waste any money on it didn't pay more than i should uh this one was a smith's crisps crisp snacks and nuts van i won't show you that for long because i've got loads of them but that will go into the rake again metal wheels couplings intact uh labeled at two pound fifty so again 50p off that that's not too bad uh, here's one I've not got before, uh, not got already. It says Loco NE, so it's an LNER wagon. It's again, it's mainline, so it's got uh, the uh, the weird sort of sprung couplings. But it's quite a nice thing, isn't it? Don't you like the, the colour on it? And it's all sort of brown on the inside. It's quite a nice wagon, and it was labelled at £4, so I got that one half price. That's all right, isn't it? So that's another mainline. The uh, tray's getting a bit full now. Uh, another livestock wagon, Southern Railway, one coupling hook missing, but apart from that it's got the metal wheels. £4 again, perhaps £4 was a bit naughty to ask when it's got a coupling hook missing, but uh, for £2 it was definitely alright. And again, I have had the roof off this one and cleaned it, uh, just because it was a bit of a mess. Put that down. Uh, here's another sort of crusty old wagon. Uh, it's got a trying coupling on one end and then it's got like a... Hornby Dublo type coupling on the other end as you can see there. Uh, it was labelled at £5. What was he thinking? I suppose it might be quite valuable if it's a converter car, so you would have your Triang stuff on this end and then your Hornby Dublo stuff there. Maybe that makes it valuable. I'm not convinced that it does, but uh, he obviously thought so, so I won't begrudge him that because he got me a good deal. That was a good deal, wasn't it? And then finally another Mighty White. There you have it with, uh, again, plastic wheels, coupling hooks intact, and the price tags dropped off that one. Uh, but the other one was £3, so presumably we'd be selling that for the same price. So there we go. That's half of them. That's 24. Oh, no, it's not. There's something else in here. What is it? Oh, this is cool. Okay, so it's, I think it's Lima, isn't it? I'm going to double check. Yes, Lima, Italy. You can tell because it's light. It's got a coal load inside, which I think is quite cool. I don't think I can get it out. Oh, I can, I can. So it's got this. Looks like a coffee table, but it is a, a load. It looks like coal. Uh, so otherwise, it's just a, a regular wagon, but I might as well leave the load inside there. I suppose it will fit the Hornby wagons of the same size as well. Oh, I bet I can't get it. Oh, I can. There we go. Uh, it is missing a coupling hook on that end, and it has only got uh, plasticky wheels, but it was labelled at £2 anyway, so that's all right. Okay, now the bag's empty. Just chuck it over there. Let's see what people think. Have you got any favourites so far? What do you like that I've uh, managed to pick up? Uh, I like transport, says shout out please. Henry341 Adventures, shout out please Sam. Holy cow, a converter wagon, <laughs> says the ugly duck man. Is it, do you think it was produced as a converter wagon? Or do you think someone's botched it on? I was trying to look. It is screwed on there, but it looks like a really neat job. So did Triang sell converter wagons? 
Um, I don't know why they would, because Hornby Dublo was a competing company, so they wouldn't really want to be supporting Hornby Dublo by producing a, a converter car. But maybe they did, I don't know, it might entice Hornby Dublo users to start using Triang, I suppose, who knows. Uh, Jared's Junction, anyone else working on their layouts while watching this? Yeah, that's an interesting question. If anybody is working on their layouts, uh, let me know what you're doing, and also let me know how it's going, and we'll all compare notes. I just fell in love with the C-Class, says Michael Forster. So it sounds like he's Googled it. Yes, uh, they are beautiful. The southern green isn't, well, the southern sort of black in the green lining isn't the version I would have loved to get. Uh, the version I would adore to get is the SECR green version, but Blackman didn't make enough of them. There, there just aren't many of them out there. So unfortunately, I'm not going to get one of those, I don't think, because they cost way too much. But they are beautiful, believe me. Okay, one last bag then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because this thing's ridiculous. It's like Mary Poppins' carpet bag. How does this thing... There we go. Okay, so... Yeah, what on earth am I going to do with this? Now, it's not as bad as it seems. Now, it is Triang, so it's got the big fat wheels on it. However, it's got some sort of slimline couplings uh, screwed onto it, so those would be useful. Uh, it doesn't weigh very much, so I doubt it will stay on the track properly. Uh, but here's my plan. I'm going to build a man out of paper mache, and he's just going to stand like this with his hands on his hips. And I'm not going to tell anybody when I'm doing it. I'm just going to do it, and one day this will appear next to Bullman in a video, and uh, everyone will be very frightened. But yeah, it was labelled at £3. This is from the same lot. This is just the second half of that uh, lot of about uh, 25 wagons I bought. Uh, it's a ridiculous thing, but I do like these Triang wagons, so maybe I'll leave it as it is, I don't know. But yeah, I just uh, couldn't believe the size of it. But it was in the tray, so you know I'm not going to take it out. Now this was a pick of the litter, I think. Look at this. Now this looks brand new. It's like a, an LNER hopper wagon. It was only labelled at £4, uh, but it's got full modern metal wheels on it. It's got the proper couplings, not NEM ones, but uh, the next best thing. Full inter in in blah, 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 interior detail, beautiful underframe detail. Come on now, for £4, and I got this for 2 that is just great. So I might need to try and find some more of these hoppers. I doubt I'll get them for £2 each, but if I could get maybe four or five of them, that would make a lovely rake, I think, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, so I don't have to keep reaching. I'm going to move this tray. Oh, this is scary. Everybody, I hope you're recording this, because if I drop it, it's going to be... Uh, oh, it's going to be an entertaining one. Let's put it that way. Move that out of the way. Oh. <coughs> And then I can pull this tray closer. Have you noticed I've got foam underneath all of my uh, locomotives now uh, to protect them? Somebody suggested it in the comments. I can't remember who it was, but I did take up their suggestion and I did do it. All right, so here's another same old. It's another Mighty White. Uh, it's exactly the same, uh, so I'm not going to go into too much detail there. So actually, I must have quite a few of those Mighty Whites now because uh, I had a couple already. Uh, so here's another scrapper, I think. I reckon this is Joef, Joef or something like that. I can't actually see the brand because it's got the price tag on it. Uh, it's got the strange sort of couplings on it. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest, but again, it was just one that was in the tray, so that's that. It might be good for a project, though. Who knows, I might mount a giant animal onto it. Who would do such a silly thing like that? Another great western uh, brake van. It doesn't look long enough to be a toad, does it? Uh, it says uh, Saltney on it. I thought it said Stanley, but no, it says Saltney. Uh, so I quite like that one. I've got to use this one, haven't I? Because it's got metal wheels and the couplings on it. I've got one similar. I don't know what the name is on my existing one. I don't know why I'm looking, because I'm not going to be able to read it from here, am I? But uh, anyway, yeah, Saltney. Quite like that. Uh, it was labelled at £4, and I got it for about 2 in the end. Uh, just the same as everything else. Uh, there's another the brake in here. Uh, this is a mainline one, but it looks really, really similar to the Hornby ones. I suppose it would if they're based on the same thing. This was labelled... Oh, it's not mainline. Oh, yes, it is. I thought it said Backman, but it does say mainline. Uh, it's got the mainline couplings on it, of course, and at the plastic wheels. Quite a nice thing. Not bad for two quid, is it? Uh, I probably have too many of those already, but uh, never mind. Uh, okay, couple more here. There's an Esso tanker there. Uh, that one was labelled at £3. Again, plastic wheels, uh, coupling hooks intact. That's pretty good. Now, this one, I think, was pretty nice. This is a Backman wagon. It was labelled £7. 
So maybe he had a bit of a funny turn on that one. I don't know. Because uh, it is not a modern Backman one. It's not got the NEM couplings or anything. But it is quite nice. It says Berry Wiggins uh, and Co. Fieldhouse, Fetter Lane, London. Quite a nice tanker there. I think that'll look really nice alongside my other tankers. So, yeah, again, two quid for that. I mean, it's a good discount. I don't think anyone would have paid seven for it. Which would explain why he still had it. <laughs> Yet another mighty white bread van. Uh, so how many is that? That's one, two... That's four from the same day, so I, I didn't realise there was as many as that. Again, so that's another pound save. That's pretty nice. Uh, they're all in good condition too, those Mighty Whites. All right, here's one I never realised existed. Uh, this is a Clarks wagon. You might not even be able to read the Clarks on there because it doesn't stand out much. Now, is Clarks still a thing? I remember when I was little, I used to go into Clarks to get my shoes, and they they always had this monkey in the shop window which used to jump over a pole. It was like a little automaton. I loved it. That's the only good thing about getting shoes. I used to hate going to get new shoes. But, uh, yeah, used to go to Clarks, and I never realised that a Clarks wagon existed. It's Lima. And it says two pounds. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. A little bit of my childhood. I'll always remember that monkey. Uh, another Tidmouth milk van. Again, I didn't realise there was two of those either. Uh, this one was labelled three pounds. It's got plastic wheels, but uh, it's in good condition. All of the uh, pipe work on the top there. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah. All the pipe work's intact, so that's good news. Uh, one more, I think. Another Esso. There you go. Uh, same sort of thing, obviously, exactly the same thing, just with Esso, not Tidmouth Milk. And again, £3, it says on the bottom, and I got it for two. So there we go. That is all of the rolling stock I got from the train fair. So it was quite a good lot. I'm sorry that's taken so long. Hopefully it hasn't been boring. Hopefully people enjoyed it. Uh, let's see what people are saying then. Uh, hello, LaserJet, says Adam. So Laser must be there. Uh, I can't see him, but uh, hello if you are there. <laughs> I have Hornby, says Bogey Fabini. Well, that's good to hear. I, I have a couple of Hornby bits. Um, I, dis, I just disliked. I'm liking after. I just did for the sake of lols, says Fury. Well, thank you for disliking the video, Fury. Uh, I think that's what you're trying to say. Can you run Canadian Pacific, says Adam. Yes, I love Canpac. I've got to get her going. Um, can you do a giveaway without a super chat? I don't have money, says Gabriel. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I know it does seem a little bit grabby, but uh, the thing is, I've got to sort of make a living. <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, so, um, you know, if you can't join in with the super chat, please don't worry. Uh, I don't expect that of anybody. I just, you know, I'm just grateful that you're here watching, to be honest. So don't feel bad if you can't super chat. That's absolutely fine. Uh, have you been to Clark's Village, says Map the Dragon. I don't think so, though that does sound familiar. What is Clark's Village? Uh, Laserjet, there he is. He says, I'm here. Hello, Sam. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, I love your videos, says Handy Andy's Train sp Spotter. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And can I please have a shout out, says Christine, 1958, Plymouth Fury. Yes, you can. There you are. Uh, Th Tom, or Tom <laughs> McAdam, says nice stuff. Thank you. And uh, I have many towed brake vans, says William Town. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, well, thanks to the last train fare. Uh, I do now have quite a few of them myself. All right, let's see what's coming up next then. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is go for a short break, uh, just for a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. Uh, what time is it? Blimey, it's nearly 22. So I'm going to get some of these requests on the road, so to speak. And uh, once again, I've forgotten to get a pen. So bear with me one second. I'm going to grab a pen and I'm going to write down the first three. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to go through the current list of Super Chats just to say thank you to everybody. So let me refresh the page here. And uh, I will write down the first three if I remember to. Right, so what day is it today? <laughs> it's June the 10th. There we go. So, thank you to George Davis and Michael Willis. Uh, he wants to see the Class 73. 73 with the Pullmans. And that is the Pullman Class 73, not the one I just showed, I assume. Yes, he did say that. Uh, thank you to Charles Curtis. That was a very generous donation. Thank you, Charles. Uh, model Train Fan, thank you to you. And all of these people are entered to win the Ginty, by the way. So if you want to enter to win the Ginty too, I'm going to be doing the prize draw in August. So you've got plenty of time. Uh, so yeah, feel free to enter. Uh, let's see, Toads on Ice, did I already say him? Uh, if not, there we go. Uh, good to be back, says the Ugly Duckman. Can you run the 7F piloted by the 2P? pulling some green mark ones. Does that mean the 2P at the front? I'm not absolutely sure, but I'll put uh, 7F, 2P. I'll have to see if the 7F has got a front coupling on it. If not, that might not be something I can do, but we'll see. 
uh, pulling some green MK1s, green Mark 1s. And at Shining Time 4 says, can you run a Holmby Merchant Navy with Pullman coaches? I do love those Merchant Navies. Yes, I can do that. And I've seen that someone has been asking for Canadian Pacific, so I'll make sure it is Canadian Pacific just so that we can see her. She is the most run locomotive in my streams. She's got to be, hasn't she? So Pullman's. So that's the first three requests. I know there are more to do, but I'll deal with those later on. So for now, let's just shout them out. So it's shining time for, yeah, I did him. Uh, the Ed32, thank you very much. Uh, Rod hum Rob Humphreys, I almost called him Rod. No, it is Rob. And Lionel MPC, thank you to you. The Gentleman Nerd, please run any red locomotive. Yes, I'll do that. Uh, the Imperial Diamond Spinosaurus, Mayo Hosco. I think I said that right. Rob Humphreys again. Cooper Green again. Rob Humphreys again. Uh, Lee Molson. Lima 73s are great. I have four of them. Crikey. Four. Um, are they all in different liveries? Maybe. I know they did a lot. Yes, they are good. Uh, thank you, Lee, for that. I do appreciate it. And again, from Cooper Green. Can you run a train of brake vans pulled by a pair of 040s? Absolutely, yes. I'll do that later on. Okay. So... It's quite warm up here now. Is it warm where you are? I, I don't know. Anyway, go and get yourself a snack or anything like that. I'll try not to be too long. I'm going to get some of this stuff set up and I'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Uh, it's going to be quite a long stream today, I think, but that's okay with me if it's okay with you. So I'll see you shortly, folks. Thank you for joining in so far and I'll see you in just a second. All right. Cheers, everybody. Okay, folks, that is all done. Uh, I've... Uh Sorry that that took so long, by the way. Basically, I picked up the ROD280 or something like that, got it down onto the track, and I thought, hang on, that's not the 7F. It's nothing like the 7F. So I had a bit of a kerfuffle there. But anyway, that's all sorted out. So if I just show you this, uh, they'll all be ready to go in just a second. Uh, but first of all, if you've only just joined, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, before I did a little break, uh, I showed you all of my uh, train fare stuff, uh, train fare loot, if you will. Uh, here's some of it here. Uh, new locos, new rolls rolling stock, uh, quite a lot of it too, so hope you enjoyed seeing that. I also introduced the competition, uh, the next uh, giveaway I'm going to be doing is of this 3F, and uh, people have been entering already, if you want to enter you just send me a super chat of any amount, and uh, that's it, then you'll be entered, and speaking of that we've just had another one from Nirate Goal, he says can you please run a GNRJ13 with Teaks, and Model Railway Works has just entered as well, so thank you very much for entering, and thank you for the support with the Super Chats as well, I, I truly do appreciate it, and equally if you want to enter multiple times you can do, it's one per stream, so in the next stream if you want to enter again you get a second entry, and then you've got even greater chance of winning my DCC fitted, it is DCC fitted S and DJ Arginti, absolutely beautiful beautiful. So how's people doing? I have a GNR J13, says train extraordinaires. Oh lovely, they are beautiful in the uh, GNR livery aren't they? Uh, Pines Express, ready to go on the middle line, says the ugly duckman. Ah, is that what it was? Uh, now I apologise that the coaches are looking a little bit light down there. Obviously the Pullmans have been stretched over two trains. I do have more Pullmans than that but I just thought you know it's going to take me an extra two minutes to get the extra Pullmans out and people are waiting so I thought I'd get it sorted out first and equally the green coaches I've done my best with the coaches there I've only got three of that kind so I've just bunged three on uh, but I'm sorry it's not more uh, anyway uh, run the blue Pullman says bogey Fabini yeah that sounds good I do like those blue Pullmans uh, you forgot something said Mark what did I forget Mark the class 73 with Pullmans the 7f the 2p green uh, Mark 1s, the Burton Merchant Navy and Pullmans. I think I got it right, didn't I, Mark? Uh, will you run the Ginty sometime, said Jared's Junction. Yes, the Ginty is a lovely runner, isn't she? Uh, well, the Hornby ones are, and the Backman ones. They're all lovely. So I'll get those running at some point. I'm Batman, says Patrick. Well, you learn something every day. Anyway, uh, oh, let's do one more. Grant, President Grant, has got a fun fact. Are you ready for his fun fact? He says, the LNER A4 class Bitten had double tenders and Hornby made it in model form and if you find it please review it okay cool thank you for the fun fact okay let's get some of these running then shall we let's drop down to the front so thank you very very much to everyone who requested these uh, in the super chats i do appreciate your support and uh, now to say thank you let's get these running so here we have merchant navy on the inside line this is canadian pacific uh, she runs so often in my streams you wouldn't believe it uh, but forwards please Canadian Pacific there we go and then we have the 2P and the 7F now the 2P is quite a fast loco and the 7F is quite a slow one so hopefully they won't pull each other off there and then we have the class 73 in the Pullman livery specifically with some Pullman coaches which looks absolutely fantastic 
and uh, that's a Lima one, not a Hornby one, and there it goes. Okay, so let's get these, well, let's get a few different shots from around the room, shall we? So there's the 73 to be start with. Thank you, Lucas. He says, hello from Austria. So thank you very much for the support, Lucas. Uh, you are entered to win the s and djr Ginty. So, uh, yep, yeah, good luck. I'm following the 73 at the moment, but I suppose I should uh, go and find out where Canadian Pacific's got to. Oh, I can hear a derailment. Shall we go and have a look? What has derailed there? I can hear something. Let's follow it. Let's go and stop it, shall we? Oh, dear. I wonder if it's an issue with the double header. Let's have a look. It doesn't sound like... Oops, hang on, I stopped the wrong train. <laughs> well, I might as well get it round to the front now, hadn't I? Let me swap the camera for you, and then you guys can see what's going on. Uh, basically, I've just heard something derail. It sounds like a coach. To be honest, these are replica railways coaches, and the couplings are really funny on them. Do you know what? It's rattled all the way down Gordon's Hill. But I think it must have dropped over some points and put itself back on the track, because now it's absolutely fine. <laughs> right, okay, well, thank you for that, Mr. Train. That's panicked me for no reason. Right, we'll keep a close eye on that then and see how it gets on with its second lap. But for now, let's try to enjoy Canadian Pacific this time as she thunders down the main straight. There we go. And at this time, let's watch more closely the uh, 2P and s and 7F train. Keep an eye on those coaches and let me know if you see any trouble with derailments. Looks all right so far. Let's take a look underneath the computer desk. Need to do my wave. Right, it was somewhere here. Are there any wires in the way? I can't see any. Maybe the tracks come apart at that top end, I'm not sure. Hmm. Doesn't sound healthy. It does sound as though something's come off, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the track. Well, the track looks good. It's probably because I've put not, uh, couplings together that aren't alike, so that's probably why it's got a problem. But I can't see anything wrong there. I, it just sounds bad, but I can't see anything wrong. Anyway, I think I'd better stop these now anyway, because uh, I've got some more requests to do. So let me stop these at the front, and I will clear these off. So there's Canadian Pacific, looking absolutely fantastic. Always a good idea to run her, I think. So thank you for that. Uh, let's stop the 2P and the 7F, and we can start getting these off, can't I? Let's put Merchant Navy off somewhere where she'll be safe. There we are. Uh, just in time to stop the class 73, there she goes, put her out the way to safety as well, and of course the two lovely uh, LMS locos slash s and DJR locos. Uh, I'm glad I did pick the s and DJR version, because it goes nicely with the 7F, doesn't it? Because uh, of course I do have uh, BR Black 2P as well. But it wouldn't have been quite as good if I'd have run that one. So that's that. I think what I'll do is try to reverse these Pullmans, if I can, into the siding. Normally these Pullmans derail, so no doubt they will. Oh no, we're okay. And I'll just take the uh, the green coaches and put them out the way. I'm doing this on camera rather than uh, going to another break, because obviously that music does my head in, so it must do your head in as well. And I'm going to leave the coaches here, uh, the Pullman coaches that is, because there might have been another request for them, so I certainly don't want to take them off and then have to put them back on. Uh, so, okay, let's find out what the next requests were. So where do we get up to? Which one was the last in chronological order? So I think the last one was the Merchant Navy, so let's take a look here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, there's quite a lot here. So I think it was Shining Time 4 that was the last one. Uh, so then we have Lionel MPC, who wants to see the Wren Lime Regis. So actually, she could run with those uh, Southern Green coaches I've just taken off. Drat, I've got to put those back on. Uh, the Gentleman Nerd wants to see uh, any red locomotive. All right, quickly in the chat... A red locomotive. You guys get to choose. The first one I see is the one I will pick. So we need any red locomotive to run for the Gentleman Nerd. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'd love to see the Mallard with the Pullman coaches. Yes, I knew it. So Mayo wants to see uh, the Mallard plus the Pullmans. 
Right, let's take a look here then. Right, the first red loco I am going to spot is the one I'm going to run. I've got to own it though. If I don't own it, I can't do that. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit of a delay in the chat, so no doubt they'll come running through. Okay, I have seen MOD. What is MOD? The, the Royal Scot says, Ed, I do have a Royal Scot, but she's not in red, unfortunately. Uh, the, the overwhelmingly positive answer is James. Studying me, James Stewart is saying James. GNR Studios said James. Uh, Trains with Adam, James. James, James, James. Okay, so I guess it's James. So we'll get to James running. Uh, James. Right, let's go and put those on live then. Uh, let's get that sorted. So the first loco we need is the Ren Lime Regis. And that, I believe, is a rebuilt rest, uh, West Country class. <laughs> Let me get her. Obviously, all of the Ren Locos have had to move house today because the train fare stuff has been where they normally live. But that's okay. So here is Lime Regis then. And of course, the Ren Lime Regis is super, super heavy. I mean, really, really heavy. Uh, one of the heaviest Pacifics I've got. Uh, because it's made of metal, the entire body on uh, most of the Ren Locos actually, uh, if you didn't know already, are made entirely out of die cast metal. So they run really, really uh, powerfully. Uh, they can pull almost anything, um, but you have to keep them serviced because obviously if you put uh, too much weight on the back of them, they'll burn the motors out if you're not careful. So yeah, you've got to keep them serviced. Uh, hopefully, having said that, uh, Lime Regis will be in a mood to run today. Hopefully she will, but we'll try that in a second. Uh, I'm just getting these Southern coaches loaded back onto the track. I should kick myself for taking these off. If I had a better memory, I wouldn't have taken them off. Right, so what colour coaches does James prefer to run with? Uh, I think we'd better go with some red coaches, uh, since the request was to run a red locomotive. So might as well run a red train with it, hadn't I? So let's get James. Come on, James. I tell you what, James is going to be absolutely thrilled to bits to be asked to run in one of these sessions, isn't he? He absolutely loves the limelight. Right, James, let's get you some coaches, shall we? Ooh, lots to choose from when it comes to red coaches. But I think I will grab just, how many, shall we say four? We don't want to stress him out. Because if James gets tired, you know what he's like. He gets grumpy. So four coaches for James. I think that will be just about the right number. Uh, I don't think I picked up a break, so he's going to have to be careful. Although, of course, in real life, all of the coaches had brakes in them, not just the brake coach. Or the guard coach, I should call it, shouldn't I, really? So there we go. That's two for James. They're running away. Must be slightly downhill there. They seem to be rolling away. That's three. <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't mean to just uh, cough right into the microphone there. I bet that was pleasant. There we go. And uh, what else? Uh, Mallard with the Pullmans. Uh, okay, let's think here. Uh, I've got a Mallard that's on DCC, but uh, oh well, that's all right. I'll just have to do something very slightly naughty and run Mallard on uh, DC mode today, but that's okay. Uh, the other Mallard I've got is a Wren Mallard, but again, she's quite uh, a rare and expensive model. Although not really, actually. The Mallards weren't that expensive. But nonetheless, it would be nice to run uh, the BR Green Mallard, I think. I've just noticed that one of her little tender contacts is bent, so I'll just fix that. And uh, let's put the tender on, making sure I don't knock James off in the process. Is that tender on properly? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so here we go then. Let's try out Lime Regis. It's been a while since she's run on the channel. But yeah, right on cue, there she goes, running perfectly. Uh, here goes James, the red engine, number five there. And of course, uh, Mallard, as uh, requested by Mayo. So let's get Mallard going at a nice gentle speed with the Pullman coaches. There we go. And uh, let's watch these guys run. So if I jump around the back, you'll see uh, Lime Regis there. Uh, let's take a look at Lime Regis as she runs around the front of the layout. Oops, no, not there. We need this shot, don't we? There we go. Look at that. She's just fantastic. Yep, yeah, absolutely love that one. Shall we follow her for a little while? Let's watch her go around. There we go. Hang on. Yep, there she goes. Right, let's watch a few of the others, shall we? Uh, let's see. If, oh, we've just missed James. All right, well, let's keep watching Lime Regis then until he comes round to the other end. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. 
Don't think they ever existed in southern livery like that though, did they? Upton Gamer says, LMS Crab, LMS Crab, please, please, please. <laughs> we all love the LMS Crab. In fact, not everybody loves the Crab, actually, but most people like it. Hello. There goes Mallard then on the inside line, and we better get a nice shot of James, otherwise he'd never forgive me, would we? Would he? Right, let's get James going down Gordon's Hill. There he is. Oh, he does look good with those coaches, doesn't he? Oh, there he goes, past Lyme Regis. Ah, oh, fantastic. And back down to the front. All right, well, I better bring these to a stop then. Stop, James. Thank you very much for that super performance, James. That was very nice. I'm going to speed the other locos up so that they arrive back here in a reasonable amount of time. I can see Lyme Regis is just coming down the straight, and Mallard is really going quite fast. Almost at a scary speed that Mallard is going. There we go. Lime Regis, bring you to a stop. And Mallard just comes in there. There we go. Right, I'm going to find out how many more requests I've got still to do. I'm going to put the cut off now, so if you send any more requests in today, thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you, but I'm going to save it now until next time. But I think people are done with the requests now anyway. So let me have one last look at the requests and see what else I've got to do. Just wait for this to reload. Okay, so we had some Mallard. Okay, so next up then, it's Rob Humphreys. So I'll just put Rob uh, with the Ginty to make sure it's not a dud. Okay, so we want to run the Ginty to make sure it's not a dud. Okay, I'll do that. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Cooper Green. Well, this is a very interesting one. He wants a train of brake vans pulled by two O four O's. Four O's. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, and uh, DK, oh, I didn't see this one. Battle of Britain fan 375 says, please run the P2 with the, Exp uh, with the Excalibur Express. Uh, thank you very, very much for the donation. That's kind of you. And uh, yes, I will do that. Uh, so we will need the P2 with the Excalibur. Excalibur. Uh, Rotund1 uh, has just sent me a super chat to run the Hogwarts Express. That's a good idea. I've not run the Hogwarts for quite a while, so that's a good idea. Uh, so thank you very much to Model Railway Works, Lucas Hagman, and uh, the uh, GNR J13 with Teague, says Nyrate Gold. So that's a good one. Uh, oh, hang on, that's all three. Okay, we'll do that one next. So first of all, let me go to the front again, and we'll clear off these locos. So, we need to be quite economical here because I don't want to be uh, obviously spending too long messing around with coaches. So what we will do is we will let the Ginty, as asked for by Rob, uh, he's going to be running with some of these southern coaches. So I'll just swap Lime Regis with the Ginty. Just to prove that it's not a dud, obviously it is DCC fitted at the moment, so it's going to run quite fast, I imagine, on DC mode. I'm just popping Lime Regis down now, just where it belongs. So I will swap that with Ginty. There we go. If people don't make a request for the specific rolling stock, I'll uh, just uh, put something that's already out here on. Uh, just make sure those coaches are on. I think I've managed to derail them somehow. Ah, uh, yes, it's not coupled properly. There we go. So that's quite an odd-looking train, isn't it? A Ginty with some southern coaches. All right, this is the interesting one. So... We're going to have to take James off, first of all, because we need to make way for the brake van train. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this before, or have I? No, I don't think I have. So I need two O four O's. So I'll see which O four O's I can spy. And they're going to be hauling a big train of brake vans. So I'll add some of the brake vans that I bought uh, today, well, yesterday, at the train fair. And in the meantime, let's grab a couple of these uh, ooh, which one shall I choose? Shall I go with the triang ones? Just blow the dust off them there. All right. So I've gone with the uh, the triang one in the Lord Westwood livery, and then the triang one here in the sort of Caledonian-ish blue livery. Okay. So now I've got to find some brake fans. How's everyone doing in the chat? Uh, everyone seems to be okay. Uh, Tank Engine 75 says double head any 57 double X and the bullet Pacific from the Excalibur Express. Oh, that sounds interesting. Uh, this is going to be good, says Christine 1958 Plymouth Fury. Yeah, hopefully it will be good. Right, I better stop messing around with the chat and get some of these brake vans sorted. So, I'm going to try and find the ones that I bought 
at the train fair. Uh, so I've got the one that was brand new. Uh, that one is Birkenhead. Uh, let's have a look for the others. I've got the GWR Toad. Uh, I've got the mainline one. Now the mainline one might cause some derailments when I couple it up to a non-mainline wagon, but we'll see. So let's put the toads on first. There we go, that's one toad, two toad, uh, BR brake van. <laughs> this is a very cool idea though, I don't think I've ever tried to do this before. All right, how many do you think is a reasonable number of brake vans? Because I, I must have about 20. But let's try and make it up to at least 10. So I've got three there, so let's add another six. I can carry six. And then I'll come back and add a few more. Because to me, if we're gonna do it, we might as well do the thing properly. So this makes nine, if I make that right. There we go, all kinds. We've got LNER, LMS now. Uh, oh, that one doesn't have two couplings on it, so that one's no good. Uh, that's another LNER, that's another LNER. Put all those on, push those down there so I can keep adding. What do you reckon? Shall I grab four more? There we go. Got to stop sometime. So, one, two, three. Shall we go with another toad? Yeah, we'll go with one more toad. And a brake van at the back, of course, just for safety. All right, so there's the other toad. That's the Great Western Toad. Another LNER one. I've got quite a lot of those LNER ones, as you can tell. My goodness me, that is bizarre. I don't think we should stop there. Do you? Shall I, shall I try and add some more? I mean, I haven't got all that many more. But uh, yeah, why, why stop there? Let's add another four more. All right. <laughs> I can't wait to see this run. I hope it will run. I hope the 040s can manage them all. All right, so that's another Great Western Toad on there. That's another BR one. That's a Southern brake van, so that's quite nice. And this one here's only got one coupling on it, so it's going to have to go at the end. Let me just put that on there. There we go. Good little brake van. So how many brake vans is this? Has anyone been counting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 brake vans. <laughs> And yes, the O4Os can manage them, so that's good. Okay, what else do I need to add? So we need to add the P2 with the Excalibur Express. So I assume you mean the uh, the Excalibur Express coaches from the train pack. Now this is gonna be awkward. Uh, I tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's move some of these brake vans out of the way just so that I can take Mallard off. There we go, that should be doing, that should be fine. Right, so Mallard, you need to budge if you don't mind because we need to make space for the p2 and then i'll go and grab the excalibur express coaches now they are some nice coaches right the pullmans have got to budge here we are thank you for your service pullmans okay so the p2 i can get in a second but now i need to find the excalibur express coaches which should be fun now where are they excuse me for a second i'm just climbing around all of the cameras and things. All right, the Excalibur Express coaches, the Green Knight, the Red Knight, and Pendragon. Awesome. Right, let's get these going. Right, bear with me a second. I've just got to climb back around. <laughs> but yes, these are really quite beautiful coaches, these. Okay, so Pendragon I'll put on first because she's the brake. And then we've got uh, the Red Knight just here. And the Green Knight right there. So now all we need is the P2, of course. So we'll leave those coaches there. Let me grab, I'll grab the Railroad P2 because obviously she is not DCC fitted. Uh, so I've just got to find her. Let me just move over here. Hopefully you can still hear me. I haven't, hopefully I haven't pulled the microphone out. Okay, so there's the P2. Unfortunately, she hasn't got her tender with her, so I'll have to go and find that as well. But I'll put the P2 on the track. So there she is. Number 2001, of course, Cock of the North. <laughs> That's where everybody has their little giggle. <laughs> Including me. Um, I'm shameless. Right. So I'm currently going through Tender Tower to try and spot the P2 tender. I seem to be having trouble. I've gotten to the bottom drawer and I haven't seen it. So that's a problem.
Oops, sorry about that. I, uh, I got a little bit too excited and I pulled the microphone cable out. Uh, if anybody notices that, that there's a glitch with the audio, if it doesn't sound right at the moment, please let me know and I will uh, restart the uh, streaming software. Because uh, sometimes if you unplug the mic during the stream, it sounds weird when it comes back on. So, yep, yeah, let me know if there's a trouble with the sound. And next time I take a look at the, uh, at the chat, I'll try and address that. Uh, but for now, I've got to try and spot the P2 Tender. And it's proven quite difficult. <laughs> Where the devil is it? Ah, ah, I see it. It's quite a sneaky little tender, is this? I don't know why, but I didn't spot it, so it must be sneaky. All right, here it is. It's quite difficult to get this coupled to the loco. I've just got to try and hook it underneath. Oh, look at that. I've done it first time. Shouldn't have said anything. Okay, let's get these going then. So, just to prove that the Jinty works, hang on, let me not get tangled in the cable again. Uh, here she goes. So there we are, lovely smooth run of that. And uh, she's up for grabs if you want to win her. All right, let's get these uh, ridiculous brake vans going. There we go. Crikey, just look at that, that is crazy. And of course the P2 with the Excalibur Express going completely the wrong way. There you go. Okay, let's watch these go around the room a little bit then. And then I think I'll have time to just do one more round of requests and then we'll leave it there. Right, let's go around the back of the bookcase. Hello. So there goes the crazy brake van train. I think that's my favourite request of the day actually just because it's slightly crazy and uh, if, as you might know I quite like slightly crazy things myself <laughs> so there it is something I've never tried before something I've never even thought of doing before and certainly if they derail it's going to be a big mess so let's hope they don't <laughs> there's the beautiful Jinty with the southern coaches looking absolutely fantastic uh, oh there's just the back end of those uh, brakes and there's the front end with the two lovely trying 040s, let's not forget those because they're awesome. And if we head over this way, we'll see those keep coming. Where are those 040s? Come on. There we go. I think the 040s are actually the same model. They've just got very slight differences. Obviously, the blue one there hasn't got the huge dome. Any locos going this way? Where's that P2? She must be on the way soon. Oh, I've lost sight of the P2. Not sure where she's got to. But the uh, 7F, the 7F, the 3F is on the way. There you have it. All right, very cool. So great ideas once again. I better just get another shot of the P2, hadn't I? So here she comes. She's going to be going under the bookcase any moment. Past the 3F's train, looking pretty cool. And the Mobius camera there seems to be at a slightly worrying angle now. It seems to have gotten worse as the session's gone on, so hopefully it's not going to just drop off the wall. But for now then, let's bring these to a halt, and I'll find out what other things I need to run. Now, if there's more than three, I'm going to be in trouble, because it's going to take me ages to get all these brake vans out of the way. So I'm going to leave the brake van train on and hope that there's just two. <laughs> and if there's more, I think I'll save it for the next stream, but we'll see. Blimey, I'm getting hot and bothered. I'm going to need to... Uh, sit down I think in a minute and do some uh, stuff sitting in the chair so thank you for those requests I will briefly just have another look and see if I've got any more to do today and my goodness gracious there have been a lot of requests today but I do appreciate it thank you all for your support I do appreciate it all right let's have another look right so we did the p2 uh, so we need the j13 with teaks and who asked for that that was nirate goal uh, so with teaks thank you very much for that that's a great request and ron in tier uh, ron in eater one he wants to see the hogwarts express and we've got the james coaches out already so that's fine okay i'll do those two then let's uh, head <laughs> sorry 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 i'm not going to be back in fifth in five minutes I misclicked. Right. So what we need to do is we need to take the Jinty train off. So let's do that very briefly. I'll just put the Jinty somewhere safe because if I stamp on the Jinty, uh, no one's going to want to win it. Although maybe, I don't know, will that put the value up? Stomped on by Sam's trains? Uh, no, I don't think so. Somehow I doubt it anyway. Okay, so we need the J13 which I love, by the way. Uh, I got a comment saying, how on earth has the J13 done so well in the model rankings? And I think it's currently somewhere in, is it in the top 10 or something like that? 
Well, the answer is it was so cheap. So the details, not amazing, but uh, for 20 quid, it's such a good model, uh, which I think is why it's done so well in the rankings. So we need teaks with her, but obviously she's not a huge engine, so we don't need many teaks. So I'm just gonna put three on there. And then eventually I'll swap the P2 with the Hogwarts Express. And of course you've got to have red coaches uh, on the Hogwarts Express, just like in the films. So I will do that. All right, so the teaks for the J13, there we go. And I'll tell you what, we'll get the, the brake van train running again too, because that was awesome. So there's the J13. Let's just grab the lovely P2 off the track there. Put her somewhere where she won't get trod on. Because I don't think I'd live with myself if I stamped on the uh, P2. That would be a crying shame. Right, I've just got to spot the Hogwarts Express. I've seen her. Always get mixed up between her and Alton Hall. Because obviously Alton Hall looks very, very similar. For good reason. So there we have it. The Hogwarts. Uh, well, it's supposed to be a Hall class really. But obviously Hornby done goofed. And made it a castle for whatever reason. But we won't go into that. It's still a nice engine, and it's got the Ringfield motor in it, but it's not in the tender. And I think this is the only loco from Hornby that I've got. Pardon me if, they're, if I'm wrong, but I think it's the only Hornby loco that I've got which has a Ringfield motor in the loco and not the tender. So that's very interesting. Let's see if it still works. Yes, it does. Excellent. And the J13, yes, she works. And just for the heck of it, Oops, we need to get the brake van train moving, but forwards if possible. So there we go. Right, let's have a look at this lot go. Oh, I tell you what, we've just missed quite a nice shot of the uh, Hogwarts Castle and at the 2040s and the brakes going. But uh, we should see it all go by under here. There we go, the 040 train is uh, a little bit slower, it looks like, than the Hogwarts. It's not quite catching up. And uh, where's the J13? I think the J13 train is taking it nice and gentle, but hopefully she'll come around the corner any second. Or the curve. Shouldn't say corner, should I? And uh, let's have a look down there. Oh, yep, yeah, we've got the, uh, the brakes going. Pretty cool. Back down at the front, there's the Hogwarts Express. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, let's see what's going on here. Stop. Ah, what was it? Oh, okay. So it looks like the culprit there was the Southern Railways brake van. Ah. Darn you, Southern Railway. Yeah, the problem with that is it's actually a Hornby Dublo brake van, which I've quite dodgily glued Hornby couplings onto. So, uh, yes, it's always been slightly dodgy. Okay, at the back of the train, of course, where it normally runs. But, uh, obviously, mid-train, it's not ideal. So I think that's the problem. Let's watch the J13 run for a little bit, though, because she's beautiful. There she goes. Uh, Sam's Busser says, run the class 142 pacer, please. Yeah, if you want to see that run, feel free to send me a super chat for it, although I will have to save that until the next stream now. So there's the J13. Don't you think they're beautiful? Wouldn't it be nice if uh, Hornby Backman, or even Hattons, I don't know, made a J13, an up-to-date one? I would buy one. I bet everybody would. <laughs> People just seem to buy, well, they like buying pre-grouping locos, don't they? They just seem to do well. And of course they do, because they're, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Right, let's go back down to the front then and stop these. And very quickly, I will show some Wall of Fame stuff, because uh, I mustn't forget that. Otherwise, there'll be loads to do next time. So let's get the locos back down to the front. Uh, let's speed everything up very slightly, give them all a little bit more juice. Oh, that Hogwarts Express is really racing. There she is. Stop her there. Oh, she's gone out of shot a little bit. And the J13. Well, at least they've behaved themselves. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right. Very nice. Well, thank you to everybody for those requests. Some really interesting requests from all different types of railways and things to date. So that was absolutely fantastic. Okay. Let's do some Wall of Fame stuff then quite briefly. I'll grab it all. There's not too many to do today, but there are some interesting ones, so I think you're going to like seeing this. 
Can some can someone mail me some Oreos, please? Says Mayo Hosco. Oh, that sounds good. I'll tell you what are nice: the uh, Cadbury's Oreo eggs, and you get a spoon with them. And you can eat the Oreo stuff out the middle, mm. and the Cadbury's Oreo chocolate bars. My goodness, they're nice. Okay, so we have what looks like a Hunslet, a Hunslet Austerity logo there from Oliver. So thank you for that, Oliver. That looks fantastic. Um, maybe that's him driving it. I'm not too sure. He didn't say. Uh, this is Sam D with the Hogwarts Castle. Would you believe the irony there? Look at that. Just after running that. That is really quite scary. These spooky things do keep happening. Uh, then George Y sent me this. This is looks like a little narrow gauge loco. I love that one. Thank you, George, for that. Uh, it's quite patriotic looking with the Union Jacks all over it there. So, ah, it's for the wedding. There we go. So that must have been uh, while the royal wedding was happening. Then we've got Dave B with a couple of American locos there photographed on a beautiful white background so that's very nice thank you for that dave oops don't drop it and here's a special one this one's been drawn and again quite spookily uh, it's a jinty just like we've uh, only just been running so thank you lucas for that it's amazing that people can draw as well as this and look at the 3d effect on there i mean that is impressive so well done lucas that's awesome and of course if you want to send in a photo for the wall of fame just email it to sam's trains at outlook.com and i'll print it off for the next stream uh, michael d there we go that's your photo i uh, don't recognize that loco but it does look fantastic and by the way they all go up on the wall when they're finished uh, so uh, that's where these photos are going to be going uh, lucas n sent me another one so this must be the same guy oh that was naughty lucas sending in two photos but i'll let you get away with it but normally you can only have one but uh, because it's such a good drawing and because you did clearly draw it yourself we'll let you have that but again look at the 3d effect there it's just incredible i wish i could draw like that um, but if i drew an engine it just wouldn't look like an engine you think who's been sick <laughs> philip thank you for that i think he said this was at the north bay railway in scarborough which is one that i've been to before uh, that's clearly inside the uh, the shed or something like that really quite a nice picturesque railway i think he said he volunteers there if i've got the right person uh, but yeah really quite nice that uh, then cookie gaming sent in this one a union pacific loco of some kind so thank you for that cookie that will go on the wall of fame uh, then we have Ewan C who sent in what looks like it's, uh, it's he's been very creative and he's put it into black and white but it's not all that clear what the engine is because of that but I think it's an LNER loco I can just about see the pinstriping there so yes I think that's what it must be and then finally we have William S with uh, Tor Valley at uh, the beautiful bullet Pacific there just look at that I mean come on now you've got it. you must understand why I love these things so much so thank you for sending that in William I bet you realize how much I like these and that's why you sent it so thanks for that that's awesome okay so let's thank all of my super chats for today then just before I go and there have been so many of you so if you've considered super chatting if you have super chatted thank you so much let me go through and all equally if you didn't if you decided not to that's absolutely fine i just really appreciate you being here and watching to be honest so thank you thank you to everybody but uh, thank you to the super chats especially uh, so we have uh, George Davis, Michael Willis, uh, Willis, Charles Curtis, Model Train Fan, Toads on Ice, The Ugly Duckman, Shining Time 4, The Ed 32, Rob Humphreys, Lionel MPC, The Gentleman Nerd, The Imperial Diamond Spinosaurus, which I love to say, I think I'll just uh, say that to myself whenever I'm bored, uh, uh, Mayo Hosco, uh, Rob Humphreys, Cooper Green, Rob Humphreys again, Lee Molson, always uh, a long time supporter, Lee is, so thank you Lee, I appreciate it, uh, Cooper Green, uh, Battle of Britain, 375 battle of britain fan 375 i'm sorry uh, model railway works lucas hagman nirate goal lucas hagman and ron in eater one i'm sorry i always say that wrong so thank you to everyone i really appreciate that right so I have some little hints to give away now about what's coming up next week. So Wednesday, I've got a video of some brand new rolling stock. Uh, I could give a little bit of a clue, I suppose. Um, ooh, what's the best clue? I'll tell you what, I'll show you the back of the box. <laughs> Keep you guessing. I have to be careful not to reveal too much. Are you ready? I'll show you the back of the box. Very quickly. There we go. And hide it again. So guesses in the chat, or if you're watching later uh, in the description or in the comment section rather, and uh, see if you can guess what it's going to be. So yeah, that is coming Wednesday. And then on, I think it will be Saturday, I'm going to be doing a review of a lovely freight locomotive. It's one that I've reviewed before, but uh, badly. So I'm going to be doing an updated review because people have been asking for that. 
Finally, the next stream is going to be on Sunday the 24th of June, so that's in two weeks' time. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing in that uh, stream yet, but hopefully it will be enjoyable, because I've uh, really enjoyed this one. And I hope you guys have too. Uh, the Gangster says, I am sad. I'm running my Merchant Navy, says Adam Rushton. And by the way, The Gangster, I'm sorry to hear you're sad. Hopefully a shout-out will make you feel better. Uh, MDH Game says, Oxford Rail. Yes, very astute of you, Mark. It was Oxford Rail. Uh, the Tank Engine 75, yes, Oxford Rail. So it looks like people recognise that as Oxford Rail. Any guesses as to what exactly? Uh, Oxford Rail N7, says Mary Hampton Productions. I'm not quite that lucky, uh, but I shouldn't say no, should I? Well, maybe. There we go. Uh, can't wait for the next videos and stream, says Alan. Thank you, Alan. Uh, neither can I. I just I love doing these, especially reviews. I love doing reviews. Uh, please run a Terrier, says Leon Faze. Yeah, the Terriers are lovely. I'll be running a Terrier soon in a video, actually. Uh, hi from the UK, says Mr. Tog2. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, my P2 crashed, said Michael Forster. Blimey, that sounds a bit rough. I hope it's okay. Hopefully it did survive. Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to do some more shout-outs before I go. So if you want a shout-out or if you want to say goodbye or whatever, uh, start with those now and I will get through and see if I can give some shout-outs. But I hope you enjoyed today. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to run some of the train fair stuff, but hopefully you enjoyed looking at it anyway. Um, I always love going to the train fairs, and for whatever reason, I just uh, felt uh, that I should buy lots of rolling stock this time for some reason. I just, uh, I don't know, I felt pressured into it by myself. Um, but uh, I'm quite pleased with the result. Uh, it's always nice to have new rolling stock lying around, and of course it just uh, makes the videos a little bit different and a little bit more interesting. Uh, when there's some other stuff running around. Uh, so the Tank Engine 75 says, bye. Jordan Bevan says, can we see the tart? Very quickly then, I'll show you the tart, because the tart has an interesting background. Uh, I don't know if anybody realises this. Uh, now, technically, this isn't the tart, but this is the loco that, well, I say loco, the loco that appeared in the thumbnail for the tart class video. So here it is. Now, what a lot of people might not realise is that this featured in both of my April Fool's Day videos. The one I did um, two years ago, remember the tender that I motorised? Well, this is the tender that I motorised. I now use it for hauling the Dapol track cleaner around the room. As you can see, it's got a battery attached and the wheel spins here. It's only got one driven wheel. I just built it myself. I originally built it to put the Princess Tender onto and run it as an April Fool's Day video, but since then I've disconnected the pickups so that it runs on a battery, and that's important so that the track cleaner goes along slowly rather than just flying around on full power. And yes, it's very useful, and it's actually still running, you know, a year and six months later, or however long it was ago since I built it. So yeah, that's the tart. It's actually very useful, but it's also looks like a rabbit's done a poo on the front of it, but they're actually lead balls. <laughs> it's not poo, I promise. I don't stick poo onto my models. I don't know anybody who does. If you do, um, let me know, and also let them know that uh, they probably shouldn't. Anyway, thank you for watching, folks. Uh, see you later, says Luke French. I've seen Tor Valley, said Adam Rushton. Oh, I bet, I bet that was fantastic. Tata says Toads on Ice. Pacific CY says bye. What's your favourite train song, Sam? Oh, it's got to be uh, the Chattanooga Choo Choo, hasn't it? Uh, I, I've seen Tor Valley. Uh, oh, yeah, I already saw that. Goodbye, looking forward to the next, uh, the next stream, says Model Railway Works. Well, I'm going to leave it there then, folks. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching. And uh, once again... Thank you for being here. I just, uh, I love these streams. It's just a great atmosphere. So my goodness, I've got a lot of clearing up to do now. So thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Let me find the outro. All right, bye folks. Well, that's the end of another live stream. Thank you all very much for watching, but more importantly, thank you all for your support. I will be doing another stream in a few weeks' time, so keep an eye on my channel. I'll normally announce it a couple of days in advance. Uh, but for now, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you all very soon. Cheers, everybody.